Hi there, we're back with our new entrance diary and today we're looking at shearing sheep and why you should shear sheep. So we'll look at covering the reasons why you shear sheep, when to shear them, wool handling and blowfly strikes as well. Shearing sheep, is it just another cost? Well, it is a cost, but it's a necessary cost. You could shear them yourselves to, to save money, but you would need to get some, some training beforehand. So the British Wool Board, um, as well as other training bodies, do run shearing courses. So you could train yourself up and there would also be a chance where you could potentially get grant aid for purchasing equipment, uh, the small farm grant scheme if you're eligible for it, or if you were on a croft and you're eligible for crofting grants, then there is a, a chance to, to get some help with buying some of the equipment for shearing yourself. So in terms of why we shear, obviously there's welfare issues and that's the reason why we shear sheep. So it would reduce them going on their backs. So with the warmer weather, they've got heavy fleece, they're lying, maybe sunbathing, and they're more inclined to lie on their side. And sometimes when they try to get back up then, they roll the wrong way and they roll onto their backs and that's normally where they can't get off their backs without human intervention. And if they're not found in time, it obviously leads to, to death. There's also the reduction in risk of parasites infesting the sheep when they're sheared. And there's also reduced risk of disease to the sheep when they're sheared as well. And obviously, like ourselves, in the hot summer months, you want to have your jacket off. And basically it's the same for the sheep. It keeps them nice and cool in the, the warmth of the summer months and they obviously the wool comes back on then in the autumn and, and winter when they, they need the warmth. So when you're shearing the sheep you want to have a clean area to shear them in to avoid having any foreign debris in the fleeces and you want to keep keep your shearing board or trailer you want to keep it tidy and once the fleece comes off you want to remove any soiled material from the fleece and ideally on a wool table where you can spread the fleece out, you can check for any debris, you can check for any soiled material and remove it. So you're basically left with good clean fleece, well rolled and presented to sell on to the buyer of your wool, which might be the British Wool Board, or it could be other independent buyers, or it may be that you have someone in your locality who's looking for a small number of fleeces that you could perhaps sell to, to them. Prices this year look to be on the rise, so it's important to try and present your wool in the best way possible, having it rolled properly and having it packed in good bags to go to the, your buyer. So looking at when we shear sheep, it would normally run between May and August. Normally May would be you hogs which could be clipped earlier and maybe some some yield ewes they could be clipped earlier as well and maybe tops probably waiting for warmer weather for the ewes to, to clip them so you would hopefully avoid maybe a loss of milk because in cold weather if the ewes are, are, are clipped and there's a cold snap of weather it can lead to, to loss of milk so it's important to be aware of maybe the the immediate weather conditions after you clip if there's a bad forecast, you may want to, to wait un until it's better. And that's probably why we would go for later on in June or July, where you're hoping to have a lot better weather than perhaps late May you could be caught with, with in bad weather, which could affect the milk of the ewes and therefore then affect your, your lambs as well. Another reason we would want to shear the sheep is blowfly, which can cause a lot of problems for a lot of sheep farmers in the country. So blowfly basically lay their eggs on the fleece of a sheep, the maggots hatch and they attack the living tissue of the sheep. So to spot this normally you would see a discoloration of the wool and sometimes you can the maggots can be seen and you'd also get a foul smell from the sheep. It's basically a very big economic concern for sheep producers in the country. So by shearing the sheep, 
you can reduce the chances of eggs being laid in their ideal conditions, which would be the warmth of the fleece on the, on the sheep. And again, by shearing the sheep and keeping it clean, going to reduce the chances of blowfly. So if you have a sheep that's very, very dirty behind, it's going to be a, another chance that blowfly would, would attack. So in summary, you'd want to shear your sheep. It's good practice to prevent blowfly strikes. You'd want to present your wool in the best way possible. And the final thing would be to check the weather forecast before you start and hopefully avoid any bad weather. So happy shearing when it comes.